Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, I'm Suhanna. I make videos and I do post new video every weekend. I know this is not my usual hair content, but honestly, I've been wanting to talk about body image for a while and if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm always looking for swimwear and randomly showing you guys things I've bought and reviewing them. So we're gonna do both of those things today. I've actually been wanting to make a video just talking about body image and body standards for a very long time. So I figured when better to talk to you guys about that than when trying on and talking about bikinis. So unfortunately we are in the dog days of summer. Summer is coming to an end. That makes me really sad because I'm Canadian and summer is already so short here. But despite us being in the dog days of summer, I'm still seeing women and girls on social media talking about, oh, I wish I had a bikini body. Too bad this summer I didn't have a summer body. And they're saying this stuff unironically. The whole reason why hot girl summer is the trend of this summer is because it's a way to make every girl, every woman feel like a hot girl, feel good about themselves. Because really what is a hot girl? A hot girl is a girl who feels good about herself, who feels confident. And it can be really, really hard to do that if you have poor body image. In this era of social media, specifically Instagram, it can be that much more difficult to feel good about your body. We do associate our looks and our bodies, or at least society associates women's looks and their bodies with their worth. You're constantly being fed images of certain bodies that don't look like yours. It's really, really easy to feel bad about yourself and to feel insecure about yourself and self-conscious about yourself. And then that can lead you to not wanna wear certain things. I've been that girl who said, I'm not gonna wear a bikini because I don't have a bikini body. Even when I was really thin, I still am a pretty small woman now, but when I was even tinier, when I was like a size zero, size two, I would still feel self-conscious. And I think it's because I was so used to comparing my body to the body of women around me, especially my friends and women in my life. A lot of them are curvier and especially now with social media and on Instagram, we know that like the hourglass body, slim thick body is what's trendy. I'm here to tell you it's okay if you don't look like that and you shouldn't feel pressured to look that way and that is a lot easier said than done. Having good body image is not, there's no shortcut to having good body image. You have to really just grow and the older I get, the further I get into my 20s, the more and more I kind of just accept the idea that like, this is the body I've been given. This is my physiology. When I work out a certain way, when I eat certain things, my body will look this way. And it's okay that I don't have a teeny tiny waist and huge hips and huge poops and a huge ass. Like, it's totally fine. I shouldn't feel like people are looking at me and judging me for not looking like an Instagram girl when most women look more like me than they look like an Instagram model. I'm human, there are still days where I do compare myself, unfortunately, to other women where I'm like, I wish I had a snatched waist, I wish my boobs were a little bit bigger. But there are also days where I'm like, yes, I have a normal sized waist because I'm a regular person. I have small boobs, it's not a big deal. I can sleep on my stomach, it's great. Body image is not something that you can just skip to. There's no shortcut to feeling good about yourself. It is a gradual process but I just wanna remind you guys that whether you are an hourglass, a pear, an apple, a square, a rectangle, whatever kind of body you have, you need to feel good about yourself every step of the way. I think everybody deserves to feel good about themselves and wear good quality bikinis, so today I'm going to be reviewing three bikinis from Salty Swimwear. Salty Swimwear is a Toronto-based swimwear line. It was actually founded by my friend Kenelyn. She wanted to create a brand that reflects her beliefs and she also believes in everyone feeling good in a bikini. She is body positive. She's actually a CrossFitter. How many CrossFitters do you see modeling bikinis? Not many but she believes in body positivity as well as reducing plastic waste in our oceans. So she actually sends out all the bikinis in these really cute woven reusable bags and it has a little salty logo on it. This was really, really useful when I was traveling, but she basically wanted to create a swimmer brand that feels luxe. The materials are amazing in neutral and trendy colors and styles for everyone to wear. 
there will also be an expansion in the available sizes so again everybody can wear the bikinis and of course more colors and styles will be launched in the future I do just want to put out a disclaimer and say this portion of the video is not sponsored but these bikinis were given to me simply to review and to let you guys know what's good what I think you should buy what I think is worth your money what I think is flattering for size reference I will list my measurements below but let's dive right in to the bikinis so we will start with a white bikini which is the Macy top it looks like this it's kind of like a sportier kind of cut and it does give you a little bit more coverage with the Clara bottoms again these are pretty full coverage I think I'm holding this the wrong way <laughs> they ha give you a lot of coverage they are a little bit cheekier in the back which you will see in the try on but honestly these are not my favorite bottoms I just always have bad luck with bikinis that are white I can just always like see my nipples through them and like a little bit of camel toe but I do like the coverage of these. I just wish they fit a little bit smaller in the back because they are cheeky, but these bottoms themselves, it's a size small, they're both a size small, but they do fit a little bit bigger on me and I feel like they kind of just bunched up too much in the back and I just felt like there was too much extra fabric. But in the front, it does give you really, really good coverage. So if you're feeling like a little bit bloated or maybe you're a little self-conscious about like your tummy, a little bit of a pouch, this will cover that up and it does feel really really good on the skin it's really really smooth it's double lined and it's seamless I just wish like the bottoms in the back were cut a little bit smaller next I've got a black bikini and you can never go wrong with a black bikini I personally feel like you can never own too many black bikinis but we've got the brook top which is just like the scoop neck style it's cut a little bit smaller and it has like a band at the bottom but the rest of it is seamless if you have a bigger chest you can actually do like the little under boob look that all the insta baddies like to do and then there are the sandy bottoms which i freaking love i know this is not everybody's cup of tea but i personally feel like these boomerang high leg cut bikini bottoms are the most flattering especially on my body yes they are very very cheeky in the back they're showing off a lot of booty so you can't be really scared to show your booty if you wear something like this but I love these bottoms they are the best sellers right now and I totally understand why Aerie actually used to sell bottoms that were cut like this and they don't really sell them anymore so I was really really glad to see that Salty had some this is not a bikini I would wear like around my family or around my guy friends but I do really really love it and last but not least, I had to save my favorite one, which is this caramel bikini. I've got here the Mia top, which is a longer bandeau. So if I hold it up, you guys will see in the clip too, it is longer. But it's a longer bandeau that gives you more coverage. This does fit a little bit bigger. So if you're having issue with the sizing, um, just go on the live chat and Salty will help you out with getting a size of this. It did fit me a little bit big. I probably wouldn't like hop into the pool wearing this. I would probably just wear this to like lay by the pool or sit in the hot tub. But I love this color on my skin tone. With the Mia top, we've got the Jada bottoms. I love these bottoms. Again, they're like a really, really cheeky cut, but they're really, really high cut on the thighs and then they're very high waisted. They sit in the perfect place on your waist so they're not making you spill over it's not squeezing you you don't feel uncomfortable it gives you coverage while still you know showing off your booty so like business in the front party in the back but it's just such a nice bikini most high-waisted bikini bottoms don't sit as high up so when you do find these bikini bottoms that go all the way up it's just so much more flattering it doesn't look like a diaper and it still gives you that like tummy coverage that you want while still making you look and feel really, really good. So those were three bikinis that I wanted to show you guys and just let you know what I liked and maybe what was not my favorite. Again, the black bikini and the caramel bikini were my absolute favorite. Should you choose to order anything from Salty if you would like to, I do have a discount code. It's not an affiliate code. I don't make any money from it, but you can just use my name, Suhanna, and that gets you 15% off your order. For those of you who live in Canada, you do get free shipping over $65. But yes, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got a little raw, we got a little real. I showed you my stretch marks on my body hair, so there's that. Talked about how I feel about my own body. There's that too, and again, don't feel scared to wear certain things because you feel like you don't look a certain way. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And if you would like to keep up with me on Instagram stories, you can go ahead and follow me there. But that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye.